Hey guys, it's Jamie. So today I wanted to do a bit of a comparison video and I wanted to do Kat Von D lipstick versus Jeffree Star lipstick because this is something I've actually been battling over myself for the past several months, which one I like better. And so now that I have a bunch of colors from both and I have had well enough time to try them out, um, I decided I'd kind of go over the stuff with you guys and just kind of let you know like what my opinions are on them and see if maybe you guys felt the same about some of the details. So we will start it off just with your basic like price, um, ounces per bottle, what the packages look like, etc. So we have the Jeffree Star containers look like this. Just a very thick plastic tube, pink top, clear, nice, small, compact. <laughs> Kat Von D's very long plastic tube, uh, not very thick, it's actually quite thin, much larger handle at the top, and obviously much taller than the Jeffree Star one. So the Jeffree Star lipsticks sell for $18 a pop, and then depending on where you live, the shipping is going to vary, but what I found for myself is if you order them from Beautylish, if you get two lipsticks or more, you get free shipping. So that's an awesome deal for myself. That's what I usually go with, I buy two at a time. Kat Von D's, if you buy it from Sephora, it's 20 bucks a pop, and then you obviously don't pay shipping. However, the Jeffree Star tubes are 0.19 fluid ounces, which is 5.6 milliliters. Kat Von D's are 2.2 fluid ounces, which equals out to 6.6 .6 milliliters. Now, the one nice thing that I do like about the Kat Von D is that they come in mini options, depending on the color. So you can buy them in a set that she came out with, the Everlasting Liquid mini set. Comes with eight colors. And these guys are one point, uh, sorry, 0 0.1 fluid ounce, which is three milliliters. So I've got a whole, I've got this whole set. So I've got a bunch of minis, which I really like. I love the idea of bringing minis out for fairly inexpensive because then you're not like, buying a whole tube, unsure if you're gonna like it, and then you get like a quarter through and it's like, nah, I don't want this anymore. You've wasted a lot of lipstick. Or if you can't get through it all and it goes bad, cause with everything being like vegan and like very little chemicals, it can go bad quicker than a synthetic makeup can. So doing the minis gives you a really nice tester option and it might uh, not go bad so quickly if you are slow to use lipsticks. So. I'll just kind of go over all my colors in the Jeffree Star, like so you can see which ones I all have here. Um, I think there's one that's not in here right now, which is Anna Nicole. Couldn't find that one, it's somewhere in my room. But I've got uh, Blow Pony, Jawbreaker, Abused, Blue Velvet, Posh Spice, Unicorn Blood, I'm Realty, and Weirdo. And in the Kat Von D, I have two full-sized lipsticks. Uh, the purple is Aisha and the red is Exorcism. And I also have the whole Everlasting set as well, which are all minis, like I said earlier, which has Santa Sangri, Mother Lovesick, Backstage Bambi, Love, Echo, Plath, and Roxy. The last two are brand new colors as of this point in time, so that's kind of fun. Uh, so first uh, comparison is going to be how long do they last and how well do they hold up to food and water. So we'll start with Kat first. So how long they last, I say okay. To, for me, I don't know if it's myself, I've heard from a ton of people that they're like, oh yeah, they're called Everlasting and they last forever. For me, that's not the case. I don't know what it is, but they come off incredibly easily, I find. Not so much in the outer edging, like where it dries first or you're not really touching, that lasts pretty well. But like near the middle, like inner on the inside of your mouth and in the middle of your lips, I find it comes off very easily. Um, especially with food and drinking um, things like soda or juice or whatever, that's gonna have more stuff to take it off. But even just a little bit of water or even just licking your lips throughout the day, I find out it actually comes off quite easily, which I was kind of disappointed with. And then if we go to the Jeffree Star ones, I find these last amazing. Like, I can wear these for a whole eight hour day at work and it'll hardly come off at all. Like, even with eating lunch or even having breakfast with these on, they hardly come off at all unless you're eating something kind of greasy or like fries or something like that. Um, I find they stay incredibly well. 
um, and they don't peel off in any way. Okay, so now we'll go to the applicator. So Kat's and Jeffrey's applicators are quite different. I'll show you Kat's first. So first off, you have a very long handle, which is nice. You have a really long wand, and then you have a very small doe foot applicator. So for myself, I find that the wand is way, way too long. Like, trying to do your lipstick and your hands way down here and you're trying to fiddle with it in fine lines or getting it really close together, way too long for my liking. The mini's perfect. I'll show you in comparison the mini against the normal size. So it handles a tiny bit smaller, but look at the length of that. Like that's a solid almost two inches longer. Like I get that the bottle's way bigger, but I personally don't care for having the length of a bottle that size. I like this mini size way better. Another thing that I don't care for about the applicator is that it's quite stiff. It's not a very soft doe foot. It's very spongy, but it's kind of firm. So when you're trying to get like those outer edges, if you happen to push a little too hard, the brush doesn't give you any forgiveness. So you end up getting streaks, which I don't care for that. Cause I find myself like having to fiddle it all in. <laughs> Jeffree Star's applicator. So the handle quite small, uh, could have been a little bigger, but I mean, it's not awful. Um, wand is quite short and the applicator. Another doe foot, but it's a large doe foot on this one. Now, I like Jeffrey's that it's nice and soft. However, I don't know if you can tell, but his applicators are incredibly fuzzy. Like, there is so... Like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's incredibly fuzzy on the edging, and it's very hard to make nice outer lipstick lines when you've got this fuzzy thing that's screwing up all your lines. So it's a little bit frustrating. <laughs> I'll compare the Jeffree Star one to the Kat Von D Mini just so we can see the length wise. So obviously handles are much different in size, but look at the length. They're almost, they're almost the same, like maybe a quarter inch shorter on the Kat Von D. But I, I really like that applicator length. I find that works really well for myself. Some people like long, but I mean, it's kind of personal preference, right? Okay, now we're gonna move on to fragrance because I know fragrance is a big deal to some people. Some people love it, some people hate it, whatever. So we're gonna start with cats again. Now for myself, out of all the colors I have, which are these, um, I find they all smell the same. I don't think any of them have a different type of smell uh, in the ones that I own. So with cats, it's kind of a unique, like bad yet good smell in a way. I don't know, it's really weird. It's, it almost like has like this sweet clayish smell to it. Like you smell it, it's like, oh, that smells kind of chemically, kind of powdery, like kind of clayish, but then it kind of smells good. Like it's got a sweet scent. I don't know what it is that she puts in them, but I don't know, like I kind of, I like it yet I don't. It's a weird mixture. Then onto Jeffrey's. So his range greatly in smell. I I know all the colors are made differently. They're all they're none of them are the same base. They're all made completely different. So none of them are going to be exactly the same scent. However, out of the ones I do have, um, these three are root beer scented. I know he mentioned that in a video that he has added the scent of root beer float, and I believe the summer collection had some watermelon scent or something like that. I don't have any of those though. So Blue Velvet Abused and Unicorn Blood are all root beer scented lipsticks, <laughs> which I like. It smells sweet. It's not overbearing. I really like it. Then for the other five that I have here, these are all like a basic smell, um, but they're all a bit different. Like um, Blow Pony smells, ugh. Blow Pony smells very chalky. Like it's a very, um, powdery, chalky smell, but it smells like cosmetics. Um, I'm Royalty and Posh Spice, again, just a very cosmetic smell. And then Jawbreaker and Weirdo, by far the strongest not good smell, I find. 
they're very, very chemically, like almost to the point that like, it smells sort of tarry. It's not to the point where it's like, oh, this is gross. Once it dries, you don't smell it whatsoever. But it's just like, if you smell it out of the bottle, these two out of the ones I have are by far the worst smelling ones. <laughs> okay, then let's move on to shades of colors. So Kat Von D has a ton of colors. I love Kat Von D's colors. They're so nice. Like, I just, I just love the pigmentation she picks for them. For me, I love those colors over Jeffrey's. Um, Jeffrey does have very similar colors and he also has some that Kat doesn't and I know like Kat's coming out with a new line again that has colors like Plan 9, like some awesome green ones where Jeffrey already had green ones, right? So um, it kind of just depends on your preference on shading. I personally find that I like more of Kat's colors and I, but I wish they came in Jeffrey's formula because I like his formula better. <laughs> So like for instance, um, like I prefer uh, Vampira or Exorcism over Unicorn Blood. Just like when they're on, they're fairly similar looking, but I just love the almost black cherry tone of the reds from Kat Von D, whereas his are very rusty. As well as Roxy to I'm Royalty. Again, they look different in the bottle. They're very close when they're on, but Roxy is a bit more of a pink base. Uh, very vibrant, whereas I'm Realty is more of a bluey base. It's, I don't know I like hers better, but I wish it was in this bottle, you know? Now on to removal. Removal is usually not a big deal for me when I'm buying lipsticks. Um, just because, whatever, you can always get them off with baby oil. Like, in the end they will come off. So that's not a, that's not a deal breaker for myself. However, I know people want to know, so I'm gonna say it. So for cats in removal with a basic makeup wipe, I find they're very easy to come off. Um, I usually don't struggle much with them. Lipsticks, when I wear them, I'm usually wearing them for like a solid eight hours, right from the morning till the end of work, if not longer. Um, and there's periodic touch-ups on the inside of the lip. So obviously the inside of the lip comes off the easiest because you are constantly touching it up after eating and stuff. The outside is a bit tougher, but in no way um, do I find it difficult to remove. I never use oil to remove my lipsticks because I never really have to. Um, and I find hers do minimal staining. I think the only one that I find stains the most would be Roxy because it's a very, very pink based and the pink tends to hang around a little bit. For Jeffries, the removal, I say it's okay, it's pretty good. I find his harder to take off than Kat's. You gotta like rub it a bit on your lip. And I find his stain quite a bit. Now it might just be me, I have a lot of the darker colors. Um, and obviously they have more pigment, they're darker. That could just be how it is, but either way, again, I never use oil, I don't have to, they still come off. It's not like it's the end of the world, they still eventually come off. And last but not least, how they feel on. So I know for myself, I find Kat's lipsticks to feel pretty much the same in any color. They're very lightweight, uh, they don't take long to dry, they can stay a little tacky for a bit, but eventually they they firm up or whatever, like they, they get dry. Um, I hardly notice it's there until it starts to on the in, wear away on the inside, then I do notice my lips start to stick together because it's touching actual skin again, then I have to touch it up. With Jeffries, um, all of them usually feel pretty good. There are a few different ones, uh, like different colors that I find uh, feel a bit different. Um, so of the shades I have, only I find only the Weirdo and the Blow Pony feel different than the others. The rest are all fairly lightweight. You hardly notice it's there. It dries very quickly. Um, feels really good. Now with Weirdo and Blow Pony, Weirdo is a very uh, thick and sort of sticky feeling one. Now I'm not exactly sure why. It could be the makeup of it. It could be that this is a slightly older lipstick. I mean I've had it for a couple months now whereas the other ones are more new. I don't know. Uh, this one just tends to feel a little bit thicker and a little bit sticky for longer. Like I'm wearing Weirdo right now and I put it on maybe half hour ago and it's still quite sticky. Like if I did a kiss test, you can see the black all up on here, right? Then with Blow Pony, this one, I really love the texture of this one. By far my favorite texture out of the Jeffree Star lipsticks. It's so moussey and it just blends so well. It's just by far the easiest to manipulate on the lip. However, this one feels very chalky. It's so drying and chalky feeling. And I've tried a bunch of different things like putting lip, uh, lip balm underneath, not doing lip balm, exfoliating before, whatever. 
any way you do it. This one's very chalky feeling, which is okay. I don't mind that. It's fine. It's just something to get used to, but just a heads up. I don't know if it's because it's a lighter color, but I mean, Jawbreaker is very light as well and it doesn't do it. So I don't know. Very, very good lipstick but a little bit chalky. So that is all my opinions I have on the Jeffree Star and Kat Von D lipsticks. If I had to pick one for to use the rest of my life, I only had the choice of one, it would be Jeffree Star over and over again. Uh, the main thing is because of the long lastingness. Jeffree is just far outlast cats and I'm willing to live with his color choices if that's what it meant kind of thing. Um, I do like cats. They work very well. They smell okay, whatever. She's got amazing shades. It's just, I feel like you're gonna go through the lipstick quicker having to touch it up all the time, right? So, yeah. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video today. I wanted to do a quick little um, announcement type of deal. So, uh, as you may or may not know, if you're a avid follower or subscriber, uh, I'm close to 2,000 followers, which is a huge deal for me because there is not a lot of people around Southern Manitoba that do YouTube and actually have a good amount of subscribers, especially where I live. Um, basically, it's just my friend Brittany that does um, YouTube as well, and she got a ton of subscribers so quickly because she's an awesome makeup artist, and of course, why wouldn't she get so many followers? So if you guys do want to check her out, side note, I'll put a link to her channel below so you can check out her amazing makeup skills. So what I wanted to do is because I'm close to 2,000 subscribers, what I wanted to do was when I hit 2,000, I'm gonna have a giveaway. And so one thing that I've kind of been working on in the past uh, couple months or, uh, or so, uh, I've been working with a brand called Marina Collections, which is a jewelry brand. And they have chosen to make me an ambassador of their brand. Um, you may have heard of them, you may have not. They are on Instagram under Marina Collections. You can also find them online at marinacollections.com. And so basically it's a accessories brand. They have sunglasses and jewelry, um, necklaces, all sorts. And they've been in a bunch of magazines and stuff in the States. And so because I am an ambassador now, um, I do have a coupon code for you guys if you do want to go and check them out and buy a few pieces for yourself. They have awesome, super pretty, chunky jewelry. Um, this necklace I'm wearing here is one of their pieces. I finally got it in the mail a couple weeks ago and I'm pumped. I've gotten tons of compliments on this necklace. I love it, it's awesome, it's so fun. <laughs> I love the bright like opal, sparkly, etc. So anyway, um, with my order, Marina Collections was kind enough to send me a free extra piece of jewelry that I am allowed to give away. And so when I hit 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away that piece of jewelry from Marina Collections, and it is this velvet black choker. So you can wear it with other pieces, you can wear it just on its own, whatever, it's got the clasp chain on the back. So when I hit 2,000, some lucky winner is gonna be getting this black velvet choker from Marina Collections. So I hope to hit that mark sooner than later so I can give this away to some lucky winner. And when I do hit 2000, I will be posting a video of the actual giveaway, what you can do, how to enter, etc. This was just like a little side pre-share to your friends so we can get their quicker note. <laughs> Thanks.